The president of Kenya is declaring victory today against the terrorists who've been holed up in a Nairobi shopping mall since the weekend. But Kenyan soldiers were still searching the mall, even after President Uhuru Kenyatta told the nation, quote, we have shamed and defeated our attackers. There's a lot of confusion still tonight. It will be some time before all of the facts are sorted out. But according to Kenyatta today, at least 61 civilians and six troops were killed. These are relatives who identified some of the victims today. The Somali terrorists took the mall on Saturday, lobbing grenades, firing on shoppers, and taking hostages. President Kenyatta said six of the terrorists have been killed. Eleven others, he says, are under arrest. Charlie Daggett is on the scene in Nairobi. It was hard to tell the siege was over. Gunfire and explosions rang out again today. An army sniper kept his gun trained on the mall from a nearby construction site. And Kenyan troops were stationed on the perimeter and rooftops while helicopters flew overhead throughout the day. Inside, groups of Kenyan soldiers continued to comb the 350,000 square foot shopping complex floor by floor. Kenya's president said that in part of the mall, three stories had collapsed during the military operations and he warned that bodies are still trapped under the rubble. Still, he addressed the nation tonight saying Kenya had stared down evil and triumphed. We have ashamed and defeated our attackers. That part of our task has been completed by our multi-agency security team. He said he could not confirm intelligence reports that suggested two or three Americans may have been among the attackers. According to the Red Cross, at least 65 people are still unaccounted for. City morgues are preparing for the worst. We found volunteers who've been working around the clock since Saturday's massacre. And the bodies were stacking up. Actually, they were, they were building up a pyramid and we had to do something so we Darmish Shingadia an engineer told us the hardest part was when he had to tend to the body of a nine-year-old boy who died in his mother's arms yes, I washed the boy I cleaned him up we raped him put him in a cloth Charlie Daggett is outside the mall tonight. Charlie, yesterday the Kenyans said that some Americans might have been recruited into the ranks of the terrorists and been involved in all of this. Today we talked to sources at the FBI and the CIA. They say they haven't seen any evidence of that so far. What are you hearing? Well, today the president said he can't confirm it, but intelligence reports suggest that two or three Americans may have been among the attackers, but he'd ordered forensic tests to be carried out on the remains to help identify those responsible for the attack. We'll know more tomorrow. Charlie, thank you.